What's going on, everybody? In this episode of In the Corner, we got Sal Guerrero of American Top Team. Sal, thank you so much for coming on, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. Thanks for having yeah. me. Man. One of the top prospects. You know, uh, I've known you and your family a while. You know, obviously, uh, you know, I train with your dad now as often as I can. You know, you guys were always supporters of me in my fight career. I could never appreciate it enough. And uh, I'm happy to see you rising through the ranks now. It's really awesome. Uh, I'm really happy to have you on here. It's always great to have, like, like the, the next the next generation on here, which is where you're kind of at now. You're 26? Yeah, 26. Just turned yeah, 26 was, last month. Last month. Happy birthday. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks. Yeah, I remember I was, uh, around, like, when, when I was your age, I remember I started coming into my own. And uh, I just want to talk about how training is going. You know, um, you've been a martial artist your whole life. Um, t tell us that you were actually very similar to me, the, or maybe you, you might have started grappling though. Did you do jujitsu and wrestling at the same time? Um, so I, my dad got me into jujitsu when I was a kid, um, like six, seven, eight, you know, just to be able to defend myself. And then huh. when I got into like sixth, fifth grade, fifth grade, um, I learned about like scholastic wrestling and, and folk style wrestling and. Um, I kind of like shifted more towards that when I was like in uh, middle school, and then um, once I got out of high school, I picked I picked the uh, jujitsu back up. Yeah, hey, it's tough. I don't know how these kids do it now. Like I remember, like there was three sport athletes when I was younger, and now a lot of the kids are like they're doing jujitsu, then they're going to wrestling practice, and they're still somehow fitting in baseball. Like I don't know anything. Crazy. Can do that. I, I um. I don't know if I would have been able to manage that. I was happy I was just wrestling. I did wrestling and baseball and football. But, um, yeah, it's hard. It's hard putting it. It's hard picking one sport. It's hard enough. Never mind, you know, having to uh, put your time between three different sports. So I'm right. glad I just stuck with one, you know? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, you made the right move. <laughs> um, I always felt that my wrestling just helped my jujitsu tenfold. You know, I would just cancel you out by smashing you down. If, uh, if I couldn't do it. So um, I yeah. definitely see you going with that. You are, you're not a black belt yet, right? You're a brown belt? Yeah, I'm a brown belt. I've been a brown for a few years. Um, yeah. yeah, I probably do. But I I, uh, I had a, I had a successful year competing as a brown belt in jiu-jitsu, but I made the switch to MMA uh, that same year. So um, I didn't have enough years in, in, or enough time in the gi as a brown belt or else. I'd probably be a black guy now, you know. That's good that you stay traditional, though. You know, a lot of people yeah, don't do that. yeah, yeah, absolutely. It means a lot. Like I um, and it's it's tough. Like that's something that we could touch on too. Here is people don't realize how hard it is to train gi jiu jitsu and MMA and no gi, and they don't realize that there's a difference. You know, the the casuals and it's uh, I remember um, when Anderson Silva was on top of it, he trains the gi. He was like, his wrestling sucks. Like you know, like. He's uh, and you know, he ended up getting figured out when the next gen came up. Uh, it really is so much different. Like, um, uh, yeah, you just it just doesn't transfer. I remember when I came down to American Top Team from Connecticut. Like, mm -hmm. I trained a lot of no gi. That was my ground game. That was my ground grappling. We didn't train ground right. And I'm on the ground, and where I think I'm safe, I'm getting punched. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, people don't realize it's a different game. Like, ground and pound itself is a completely different martial art. Like a Definitely. lot of people don't realize that, and you have to like, like um, I don't know, like I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you, well, you work on it. Uh, I used to watch a lot of George St. Pierre. A lot of the team used to watch a lot of George St. Pierre and how he would do it. Uh, somewhat of Mark Coleman back in the day, just how to get that positioning, the ground and pound, and, and posture, and because uh, it really it it's it changes the game. Um, who else I'm trying to? Think? Matt Hughes, you know, stuff yeah. like that. Is that yeah. stuff you, you guys still try to do? I obviously haven't been in the room a lot of whole lately. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, with uh, there's those techniques here and there, you know, where we're, we're like with Bahumpa working on like con controlling positions and, and getting to a position before you start um, punching. You make sure you solidify that position to to make the ground and pound count. You know, not throwing like little little baby shots. You know, want to get into like a position to uh, to really make them count. And we've been doing drills like um, like you know. Lock, locking the legs up with our feet and then having a wrist drive so that we have a dominant hand to punch, you know. And then with Bruno, we we're doing, you know, who we'll have us do like all the boss rounds on the on the 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 um the dummy on the ground so we can 
get a bunch of reps in with that. So yeah, it's yeah. like a it's like a good mix of, of different stuff. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I know when I was always riding someone, I would always make sure I either had their hips planted or their shoulders planted. Something yeah. was keeping them down. I obviously preferred the hips, but that's not always the case, you know, especially me. Well, you're right. similar. You're a shorter guy too. Like the hips got to stay planted or they're throwing triangles or kicking me away. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so, all right. So we got the rest. Now, tell us a little bit about your, your jujitsu accolades. We didn't go over that. You're grappling no geek accolades. Yeah. So, um, I won, uh, as a blue belt, I won the, the world championships Nogi. Um, I took third as a purple belt at the Worlds in Nogi. Uh, I won the Nogi Pan Ams as a purple belt and a brown belt. Um, I, I placed in the ADCC trials. I beat um, I beat some big names in the ADCC trials uh, for this past ADCC. What was it, like two years ago? Um, but I beat, I beat a good amount of it was some good guys there. Um, I won Miami Opens with the Gi, but most of my accolades came from, uh, from no Gi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, all right. So we're dominating grappling wrestling. Uh, was it always the move was, was mixed martial arts uh, pursuing a career in mixed martial arts? Was that always the game plan or was that just, it just kind of happened? Uh, it was usually, I mean, uh, it, it was a game plan from the beginning. Um, just being in the gym from such a young kid and, and walking around like with the likes of, uh, you know, like the, the biggest names in the sport at the time as a, as a kid, you know, like it's uh, like what I grew up, I, I grew up, that's, that's it's what like, I knew, you know. You know, and I'm thinking now as I ask you that, like it almost wasn't even fair. Like you, you didn't have a choice, like your, your dad, your uncle, not, not throwing you in, but they're throwing you in with these people. They need somebody, somebody right. like you, somebody at the UFC and they're throwing you in to go yeah. grapple with you guys. It's like, yeah, so yeah. it's uh. It, it's like uh, Ken Griffey Jr. hitting ground, uh, catching ground balls with the Yankees. You know? so, like, uh, yeah, uh, I love, I loved it. I, there was, um, I, I loved every, every bit of it. You know, there was even opportunities that I had when I was still in high school where um, I would come up early or, or I wouldn't go to school to to go up there to the gym and and like wrestle live with with some guys. You know, um, so you know, I, I, I definitely uh, it, it it makes me it makes me. Uh, just know, like I know, I know I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be there do, doing that. So it feels good knowing that, you know. Great. A lot of people don't have that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. You're a great time. Yeah. So, all right. So, um, I cornered you one of your amateur fight fights. Completely dominated. Everything goes smooth. Um, yeah. Walk us through when you turn professional. So, how 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 how'd that go? Like when when you, when you turn, we're past the amateurs. Um, you blew through them now. All right, now it's time to make the move. You have your first fight. Tell us about it. Um, yeah, my first fight. I mean, it, it was, it was fairly smooth. Um, the transition wasn't really that big of a deal. I was still training like under a pro schedule, even as an amateur. Mm -hmm. So, um, it wasn't like anything changed as far as training goes. But it was nice getting paid. That that was for sure. Uh, I've been competing <laughs> yeah. my whole my whole life and getting trophies and 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 stuff like that. But getting paid was nice. Um. But as far as the fight goes, it was good. Um, it was a good experience. Um, it was a weird fight in a what was like it was like a rage, like the the ring and cage for mm -hmm, one. That's you know, right. That was that was kind of that was kind of weird. It was kind of kind of different. But um, but I mean the, the fight the fight went well. It was good. Uh, yeah, everything went pretty smooth as far as the transition goes. Great. Yeah. All right. So first fight in the way. You do have one loss on your record. That would be the second fight, correct? Second pro fight? Yeah, that was uh, that would be my, my second pro fight. Gotcha. So I mean, it happens. I mean, man, I lost seven times in pro, so I get it. Um, you're kind of breaking up a little bit. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. Yeah. The better. A little bit. There you go. There you go. So. Okay, so it didn't go your way. Um, we don't really got to get into what happened. You know, what's happened, but you bounced back. You won what four in a row? Yeah, um, ended up. Yeah, I've won four in a row. Uh, um, even even that fight, the, my my loss. It was, I mean, it's a loss on my record. But uh, I mean, I thought that I won that fight. It was a split decision. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it was 
just it was kind of frustrating. Um, it was in the it was in MMA Masters. It, you know, it was actually like the first event that happened uh, during COVID, like before all a lot of professional uh, like other professional sports that Titan was like one of the first ones besides that UFC. So it was kind of under weird circumstances and it was at MMA masters mm. and the cage was, was this, the cage was total shit. Um, that the whole thing was shit, not making excuses, but, uh, no, I remember the coaches talking about the cage. I remember the coaches talking about the cage. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely wasn't ideal circumstances, but re regardless of that, I, I still uh, thought that I, I, I got it done, but you know, it is, it is what it is. So, yeah, lost has happened, man. Like I said, you know, I, trust me, I know. I lost every way you can. So, um, yeah. all right. So then, but then, like, so you went back and made the adjustments. You didn't go in the tank, and that's so important. A lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people say, screw this, I'm not doing it. They don't recover for months. Sometimes even their whole career, and that's huge. How many months in between your that that loss and your next fight? Uh, um, like one month. I made sure to get right back in there, like like fairly quick. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I just from from com competing competing my whole life, I I've taken losses, and, and I just treat, treat it the same way. You know, I mean, I'm I'm in this for um for like longevity for my life, lifetime martial artist. So you just pick, mm -hmm. pick yourself back up and get back in the gym. You know. Yeah. That's another thing that I credit from wrestling. A lot of people don't know how to handle that. Like in wrestling, you gotta you gotta wrestle for third in an hour. You know. Like, yeah, you know, exactly. Right. You you can't like in in boxing, kickboxing, not really jujitsu, kind of jujitsu, but you, you could you could slump for a little bit. Like, but like no, you gotta you gotta pick it up in wrestling. You know, I hear those stories. So, uh, what, what else do I want to talk to you about? Who are you train with now? Some of the names, some of the up and comers. Wait, say it again. Who are you training with now? Like some, whether they're names, up and comers, who's pushing you every day? Um, training with so many high level guys at American Top Team, as you know. But uh, like the main guys I train with, um, Tony Gravely, um, Danny Sabatello, Jason Cephalou, Kyoji, Adriano Moraes. Um, yeah, a lot of guys. Uh, Ricky Mendejas, who, who I'll actually be uh, helping Bruno corner tomorrow night for his fight so um, awesome yeah that's great uh man kyoji special <laughs> kyoji, yeah, kyoji he picked me up and double leg slammed me once when i was like 185 pounds he just, yeah, like, i didn't know how to wrestle <laughs> yeah he's, he's great he's crazy strong for sure yeah and he's such a good guy he's just so like chill like you know like, i love kyoji he said yeah, danny yeah. danny's another one i love but, sorry go ahead Danny, yeah, Danny, Danny. I'm trying to get Danny on here too. I want. I love. I love Danny. He's another hard worker. He's a hard worker. I want yeah. to get on here. Italian guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, he he like obviously he's Italian, so we you know right off, off the bat we got that in common. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I mean he's a he's a great partner to have. A great great uh, guy that that pushes me and and mm -hmm. and um and it's just I'm 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 grateful to have uh awesome training partners across the board. You know. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're doing a great job, man. I, I mean, I've always been able to see, you know. I mean, you know but, but like, you're just doing so many things that I wasn't at your stage of your career. That's right. Like me, I was wrestling, I was grappling. I, I, I learned boxing as it came, but then that led to some big losses because I refused to learn how to box. And you, you don't have that yeah. problem. You're, you're doing all the right stuff. You're, you're going out of your comfort zone, and that's going to get so much. Like that, you're gonna get so much out of that. And you're in such the right place where you can see what's working, what's not, and they're gonna tell you what's working, what's not. So, like, there's the sky's the limit for you. I really can't wait for your next fight, and I can't wait for you to for this. Um, before we wrap it up, just um, is there any, anything else that you'd like to talk about? Anything, anybody you want to speak about? Any sponsors or anything like that? Um, well, uh, just you know, train, training's been great. Um, I appreciate that everything America Top Team's done for me. Um, I'll be training for my. Uh, I'll be training for for hopefully getting the Titan title, bantamweight title. All right. Um, within the next couple of months here, and um, so I'm, I'm looking as that being my, my next uh, my next fight, my next my next goal that I will accomplish. And um, and I'll give a shout out to my sponsors that are supporting me right now, Celsius, which has been huge, and I 
I appreciate them. And um, Interiors by Stephen T, who's, who's helped me out a lot too, so. Awesome, man, awesome stuff. Sal, thank you so much. Everybody, Sal Guerrero, you're gonna see him as the next bantamweight, right? Bantamweight type yeah. of thing? Yeah, yeah. bantamweight type. Bantamweight champion. Yeah. yeah, looking forward thanks, to it. Man. Keep us in the loop, can't wait. Have a good night, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah.